Fuck you all! Welcome back. <laughs> <laughs> you don't want to go down here till you get the red key, dude? Wait, yeah, you're right. So wait, where did I... You just got the blue key. Yeah, I don't remember where I went when I got the blue key. That was like a, a luck thing that I found that door. Well, it was up by here. I do remember going back this way. What the fuck? <gasps> <laughs> Come on! I'm just spinning around in place, okay. panicking. I remember going back through here, and then I checked that other one, and that took me back up, and then I went through this one, and then something happened. There's the armor, so you got the blue key, and then you came yeah, back this way. Yeah, and I came back way. and went back through the teleporter, and that sent me here, and from Check. this is back where I am. Shit. Yeah, I don't remember where I found the blue door. That's the part I don't remember. Probably wasn't this way. No. So, where was it? Um. Okay. I'm looking. I don't see anything, man. So. There's a window there. That wasn't back that way, because that was just the armor, the teleporter, and the red door. As far as I remember, yeah. So, try the teleporter from the other side of the thing. Just to see if it changes the world in any way. Yeah. Okay. Let's go to spin. Or we could look around. Wait, stop, 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 stop. Back up. Turn left. This is just where I came from. Shit. I thought I saw a door over there. Okay, whatever. Dude. Huh. Secret. Okay. Let's go and, down. And we're sure there's no other doors in the bottom, right? Doesn't seem it's that way. Pit. Doesn't seem that way. So, let's go through here real Takes quick. Takes you back. So, me back up? Yep. It's definitely where I just was. And then last time I went back through the other portal. portal, portal. Check this. behind you. That's just the teleporter. Mm -hmm. And then through here. I want to check all this crap. Make sure there's no door. Usually they don't like hide like where you're supposed to go in like a secret area. Uh huh. Usually. So here's the thing. There's two windows here. Mm-hmm. So I need to get there. Well, that window goes down to the river as long. Or, or this side. I need to get through here. So go down and check the right? That's probably where it is. This is probably where it is. Maybe? Uh, I don't know. I'm not willing to commit. Holy fuck! This is it again. Okay, wait. Wait a minute. No. <laughs> So the way you were going initially, what? Yeah, this doesn't make sense, because this isn't where I went last time, I don't think. Okay, hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up. So, here's we came, that. We came from right over here. Right. So we didn't go this way. How? I don't know. Yeah, this is different. How did I not just turn around and go this way before? I don't know. It points you in the... Uh. <laughs> Alright, whatever. Whatever, we got it now. Yeah, I don't, I don't give a shit, dude. Red Mystery key, fucking good, solved. Done. Fuck this area. Note to self, shit. don't die anymore. <laughs> yeah, right? This is ah! a fucking mess. Fuck, dude. This thing packs like no punch. <laughs> nice, dude. Break it the fuck down. <laughs> That's what they're doing. Can you hear this? Yeah. <laughs> okay. A little bit. Where'd that other guy go? What the fuck? Okay, whatever. I don't care. Fuck him. Yeah, fuck him. He knew it was good for him. He got the fuck out of Dodge. Okay, I got the red key. Let's get the fuck out of here now. I know full well there's nothing of import in that room. Okay. Got a duck there for some reason. And now we go through here. But I want to go all the way through and get the slime armor real quick. Yeah, that should be the left, I think. There yeah. we go. We're going to want that shit for the next area. Which is right here. Perfect. So let's just keep going, I think. That's what I'm going to do. I'm just going to blast you this shit. Let me get this weapon. Here we go. Just fucking... Rock through here. Oh wait, let me get the ammo recruit. Get it. There we go. Got it. All right. Now we're Progress. Just gonna, we're just gonna fucking. Yeah. Speed run. Now what was ever whatever was hitting me in here is not doing damage anymore. So it must have been some sort of slime, slime based yeah, <laughs> Some sort of slime based attack. You know, which is far different from every other form of damage in this game. <laughs> Uh, 
That is satisfying. Get down there. Get down there. Go. You're good. Oh, <laughs> bitches. So I'm coming that time. Yeah, this game's way easier if you know what's happening. <laughs> right. I think this blinking is. Yeah, okay. So now my slime armor's gone. No yep. problem. You're mortal again. I don't need to worry. That's a different kind of slime ball. Yeah, that wall shooting shit, dude. Ew! Eh, this is dead space, dude! Maybe that's what was hitting you in the other room. Look at this! Ugh. Ugh! <laughs> he looks pissed. Dude, there's a little behind me! Fuck you! They're coming to the wall still! Okay. Okay, let's keep moving. Yeah, just strafe everything. Strafe everything. Ah! That's pretty good. That's Whoa. a good strafe. Duck that shit. There we go. There's more behind him. Dude. What? It's the people! It's the people I came to save! Some of these are Cheerios, right? They are totally like Cheerios. So, are you wearing, like, their skeleton? Just a minute, gentlemen. <laughs> <laughs> I want to check the rest of this room real quick. I think so, yeah. I'm wearing, like, like... <laughs> Wouldn't that be cool if, like... <laughs> people wore, like, their own bones as armor? Like, I guess they kind of did it. I'm just trying to put myself time. in the headspace of a guy that's been stuck in this dank, slime-pilled fit for days, probably, and then somebody walks in wearing another person's skeleton. <laughs> I don't think that's what's happening. Oh, wait, maybe that's it. After sending the monstrous flim brain back to his own dimension, the you wall? free the captives. I think it was. Yet flimoids are everywhere. You and the captives make a break for your spaceship. The flimoids slime your ship, but you narrowly escape into orbit. During the return, you are congratulated for the daring rescue. Yeah. But you issue a warning. Fucking checks is about to tell them all what's up. Uh -huh. We haven't seen the last of the flimoids. Bum, bum, bum. Unfortunately, Unfortunately, you're correct. For <laughs> as you return home, you find that the flimoids have somehow followed you here. They stuck Pre to your shit like the symbiote, man. Dude, fucking A, man. Prepare for Chex Quest 2. Terror in Chex City. Damn. Wow. Bob fucking dry. I wonder if that's still a website, dude. Somebody probably bought it and set it up as a fan yeah, thing. I would hope At so. At the very least. I would definitely hope so. Checksquest.org. <laughs> well, I love this like suck my dick pose. <laughs> right. <laughs> See, cause he's not he's not checks on the inside. I think that those Cheerio looking fuckers, that's what they're they look like under their armor. But like he, he's a he's a Cheerio underneath the checks. That doesn't make any sense. I don't know who who owns Cheerio. Maybe maybe Cheerios are owned by the same company and like that's like their backbone. No, it's some all shit. General Mills. Is it? We got two minutes to suss it out if you want to though. <laughs> well, I don't think that uh, that I can escape this. <laughs> Me and you, hold on. That's nice. So congratulations, you won the game. Now he's just gonna stand here and glare at you until now, you leave. Now we could just uh, look at this. So uh, <clears throat> since we've got some time at the end of this episode here, I actually have something prepared. Okay. I wanted to discuss something uh, regarding Jurassic Park, the new one, the fourth one, which I care. Jurassic World, okay. that movie. I wanted to talk about something, and since we've got some time to kill here at the end of this episode, I figured this might be a good time for it. Okay. So you've seen the movie. Yes. Um, if those of you, if, if there's anybody out there who doesn't want to have it spoiled, feel free to mute the video or whatever. Watch the next episode of Foolish Mortals, what have you. Um, we'll put a link in the description. I'm going to rant about this. Um, but in the movie, about halfway through the movie, there's this point where, um, where there's this woman who babysits them. What's her <laughs> name? Like Zara or whatever. I don't fucking care. Whatever her name is. Her name was not important. <laughs> she was really not important character. She was barely there. She was like weirdly aloof the whole movie. And then like halfway through the movie, there's this part where these like pterodactyls like get busted <laughs> out in the most like weird fucking way. They come out and they're like swarming the park and shit. It's horrible. And the pterodactyls are like eating people and shit. And um... She gets picked up by one of these pterodactyls, and I'm thinking they're going to drop her, and she's going to scurry away, and that's going to be the end of it. 
fucking no, mm -hmm. dude. It is like the most like unreasonably brutal death scene I've ever seen in a PG-13 movie. And for so long, it was a long It'll... death scene. So what happens is they grab her by the shoulders and like they're like dragging her and she's kicking and screaming like bloody fucking murder. They drop her into the big fucking fish tank that has the big... Uh, Oh, this is after they're like passing her back and forth amongst themselves, weren't they? No, no, no. Here's, some they drop her where... in the tank first. They drop okay. her in the tank first, and then I think they just drop her in. And then, um, I think it might have been passing it. it. Whatever. They drop her in the big fucking tank with the, I don't know, dromosaur or whatever. I don't remember which one it is. Uh -huh. But water dinosaur. Yeah, the big water dinosaur. And then they like, she's in the fucking water, and she's like 10 fucking feet deep, and she starts to swim back up. And then these fucking pterodactyls are like diving in the water, and they go in there, and they like, you know, like seabirds, and they grab her, and they like drag her up. They're basically waterboarding her, because they like <laughs> grab her and like dunk her back in the water, and she's fucking screaming. I mean, she's like actually like dying screaming screams here and so as they're like waterboarding her the big fucking fish dinosaur comes up grabs the pterodactyl as it's eating her and so like it swallows them both and for like a split second you can see her hand like starting to climb out of this thing's fucking mouth and then it just like snaps and it's like seed and i'm sitting there like oh, oh. <laughs> It was way more fucking brutal than anything I was prepared to see in this movie. Why would you show me this? It was so fucking, it was horrible. And I actually really liked it because it was like, I wasn't expecting that. Like, I, it was pretty fucking hardcore. There's no reason to. She was an unimportant character it was, and... It was totally an unjust, it was an unjustified death in a movie. Like, they didn't like set her up to be like the bad guy and all that shit. So the rant I had about this was that was that there were people on the internet who were like offended by it and pissed off by it because it wasn't justified in the movie. Get and, fucked. And first of all, the first part of the rant, and I'll try to keep this relatively short, but the first part of my rant is that nobody in that movie deserved that to happen to them. Even the bad guy in that movie, the only thing he did wrong was he wanted to use raptors to kill people yeah. instead of using people to kill people. That's all he wanted to do. <laughs> and the other part of the rant is the whole point of that whole scene and the movie in general is that it's supposed to be a fucking disaster. It's supposed to be fucking horrible. It's supposed to be traumatic and shitty. And if it wasn't, then they missed the point of the movie. Yeah, I think what they're trying to say is that her death was disproportionately large. Yeah. Like, screen time-wise? Yeah. Like, everyone else is like, oh, shit. And then, you know, throw the cut, <laughs> yeah. drug off into the bushes, whatever the fuck. But she spent a solid five minutes dying in that movie. <laughs> no, it was weird. It was weird. But, you know, I think it really it really sold the whole, you know, this is a terrible fucking thing happening sort of uh, mood to that part of the movie in a way that, uh, you know, if they had just left it at, you know, the general vague pterodactyl attacking the park thing, it wouldn't have conveyed. I just think that uh, that actress was dating the director or producer or something, and they broke up during the movie. <laughs> and that dude was like, you know what? Fuck you. All your lines, gone. You're going to die for five minutes. <laughs> <laughs> that does happen every now and then. Well, if you want to see more of that uh, lady who died in Jurassic Park, she also played Morgana in the uh, British uh, Merlin TV show. So... <laughs> Feel free to uh, check that shit out, and uh, we will catch you guys next time. Suck at Flimoids. Yeah.